This has been a Moxing of the Corsair VS550 550 watt HTX power supply. So we can see on the front, 120mm fan, up to 85% efficient. Do note this is not an 80 plus certified power supply. There is no certification for 80 plus with this particular power supply, but Corsair are saying it is up to 85% efficient. It's just the 80 plus specification has a higher requirements than that. There's a three year warranty, which uh, is a bit short, but mind you, this is a, a budget power supply. Most uh, of course, there's higher end power supplies like their HX series and, and uh, AXI series and everything will have uh, five year plus, sometimes seven year warranties. So uh, that's that's what we've got in the front here. So we can see high energy efficiency, low noise. That says it in a bunch of different languages. Go around to the back, we should get a bit more information about what this power supply has support for. So we've got one 20 and 24 pin motherboard connector. We've got a single uh, 4 plus 4, an 8 pin CPU power connector. Two PCI Express power connectors. Four SASA power connectors. Four Molex. And two floppy power connectors. That's two too many. Maybe one too many, but even so. Um, you can see, although this is not a this is a non-modular power supply, so I can understand why uh, they've possibly included two, although you probably get a Molex adapter for that, but still. So ATX, this is more breakdown, gives, you, gives us actually the length of the cable, 550 mil. So it's all probably standard fare, if it is a bit of concern for your case, you can probably have a look there. But as long as you're not building in like a 900D, if you're building in a 900D with this power supply, you should probably rethink your build. Um, it should be fairly fine. If not, you can just probably buy extension cables if it is a problem. We can see here the fan noise graph. So we can see at 50% low, the fan begins to kick in and it's uh, at 20, 22 decibels or thereabouts. And then 100% low, it's about 35. And then we've got the efficiency curve. As always with the power supply, the power supplies are generally most efficient between 40 and 60% load. So if you have, um, you know, if you're, you, if you have a system that's uh, drawing uh, 550 watts of the entire power supply from the wall, that's going to mean that it's really efficient. So you want to buy a power supply that has enough headroom. And usually when you use power supply calculators, they usually take this uh, into the equation to be within this sort of 40 to 60% efficiency area to get the most out of the power supply and to ensure that you uh, don't run into the ground. High efficiency, low power consumption, more than most standard power supplies, da 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 da. And then we've got the actual breakdown of the uh, different power output. So we've got 500 watts on the 12 volt rail alone, which is nice to see. Almost the entire rated output of the power supply is on the 12 volt rail. And then 110 watts for the 3.3 and 5 volt rails. So there'll be things like USB and, and your lower power devices there. It's, all, it's got uh, active PFC, so it's got power factory correction, which I'm pretty sure it says somewhere. And that's pretty much it. I suppose we should out of the box because it's a bit hefty this box so here we go uh 200 and 240 ac input so um you don't have to worry about that backwards compatible with uh, older atx systems hence the 24 pin so let's open this up gets cut into the plastic here probably cut to the side there we go Now this type of power supply um, is probably ideal for a, uh, if you're sort of on a budget and you need a reputable brand name power supply, this isn't the best power supply in the world, God knows, but it is, you know, from Corsair and, you know, it's a reputable brand. It's always important to buy a brand name power supply um, rather than just some sort of generic because the power supply is, is the, the powerhouse behind your entire PC and if your power supply fails or if your power supply uh, suffers from a short circuit, the rest of your hardware could um, be damaged. So it's also important to invest in a good power supply. The warranty information card there, another bit of a warranty guide. Point safety information. That looks like a fantastic read. And uh, we've got the power supply itself, and like I said before, this is a non-modular power supply. Um, most budget power supplies are non-modular simply because it's cheaper to manufacture them that way so we can see power supply itself and it's quite quite got a quite a what does it smell like it's it's quite a got a quite strong sort of um almost like a permanent marker type smell um 
should have just noticed opening out of the box there, which um, shouldn't be too much of a concern. That should um, pass quite quickly. So you, yeah, again, you can see the breakdown of the power output and the various certifications it has. So on the back here, you can see power switch, power input. We've got a 120 millimeter fan. This grill here is probably not as robust as I would like, but uh, this is probably making out of a single piece of uh, metal here is probably a bit cheaper, so it's probably why that's been done like that. You can see a VS550 branding in which they have cleverly orientated it. So uh, if you have a top mount of power supply, it'll show the right way around. If you have a bottom mount of power supply, it will show the right way around. Let's undo these power connectors at the back here and let's have a look at the different uh, connectors we've got. Sleeving isn't the, the most tight sleeving in the world, but it is a budget power supply. You can quite clearly see the, the different colours, particularly with the some of the Molex SATA and, uh, and CPU power connectors. You can clearly see the, the black and yellow, but this again is a uh, budget power supply, so it's something to be aware of if you are looking for a power supply. We've got our two six pin, eight pin PCI Express power connectors, which is a nice feature to have. A lot of power supplies in the 400 to 500 watt uh, range sometimes don't often include two of these, or often only include one six pin. So if you do have a video card that has two six pins, it might be something to look out for to buy a power supply that has full native support. You can always use Molex adapters, but it's always nice to have um, full native support uh, from the power supply straight out of the box. Got our 24 pin with a four pin breakaway over here. We've got our uh, two, two, we've got two SATA harness here, so you can plug that into a drive, maybe another drive. I find the spacings on these are never, never ideal, um, but uh, it is what it is. We've got four Molex, uh, three Molex even, and a floppy connector all on one. And then on the other side we have, that's quite strange spacing, we've got a single SATA, and then we've got two more Molex, and then the last floppy connector, that's quite strange. Uh, layout, though you do get this with non-modular power supplies because they have to include um, as many connectors as possible. And I suppose splitting splitting the uh, SATA, one of the SATAs off to a, a different cable means that uh, if another, if you had, let's say, this going up to an optical drive, and one of these going up to an optical drive and the other one going to drives, you can actually run them rather than uh, having a, a difficulty connecting that all up. And then there's just those two side of there. Inside we've got some power supply screws, nice and black, which is uh, nice to see on even sort of a budget power supply. We've got our thick Australian standard uh, power connector, nice sort of thick cable. And then we have a, a do not heat. And I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Corsair VS550 550 watt power supply.